Please, y'all, don't show this video. Who could smoke a cigarette huh, and have this much butt on the cigarette and 25 inch of ash and not drop it? And I'm and I'm and I'm talking about I'm talking about you know two minutes worth of whooping. And I'm talking about Hank Aaron. And guess what? And I think that the cigarette ash was so afraid that if it dropped, I'll wait. It was gonna get some of what I was gonna get. So it just hung in there. Some of you, come on y'all, need to be like the cigarette ash. It was rough, but you hung in there. It was tight, but you stuck with it. It was tough, but you hung on and you didn't fall. You stuck through it, and at the end of the day, you shall come forth as pure gold. So, so watch this, watch this, watch this. Find me faith, find me faith. Firm, firm, firm in your faith, firm in your faith. Watch this, watch this. Paul says, in 1, 9 through 11, Paul says, watch this. Paul says, that a mature walker and believer in Christ, they are to stand fast in the faith that they have been taught. They were taught <clears throat> in such a fashion that it had, that, that what was right had been engraved, had been written on the archives of their mind. You see, the problem with us is that we hear and we don't hear. Yeah. Huh? You hear what you want to hear. Right. And, huh? Yeah. And the, huh? come on, y'all. Huh? It's called selective. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Now, watch this. A person who has selective hearing is a Christian who has spiritual selective amnesia. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Teach more. A person who has selective hearing is a Christian who has spiritual selective amnesia. When I only hear what I want to hear, guess what? That simply means translated in the spiritual realm. Are you in here? All right. That um, I don't remember what God has done for me. Come on, help me in here. Huh? I, 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 I forget when God set me free. I forget when God healed my body. Huh? I forget the cancer incident. Huh? I didn't get cancer, but I remember how it felt when the doctor said we're gonna have to test you for cancer. Right. Messed me up. Huh? And I was so scared that I shaved my own head before I got the results. Come on, help me. There are some things in life that will cause you to lose your mind because you lack the faith that you need to carry you through. And Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. says that faith is taking the first step when you can't see the whole staircase. Do I have any faith walkers in the building? Watch this, watch this, watch this, we have to, we have to, we have to, we have to, watch this, watch this. He says, he says, he says, number one, be continuous in your communion with Christ. Number two, be firm in your faith in Christ. But number three, you ready for it? We out of here, call the cab, Charlie. Number three, be perpetual in your praise to Christ. Yeah, all right. Yeah, be perpetual, perpetual in your praise to Christ. The Greek word there simply means a continual experience in Christ that results continually in thanksgiving. Boy, that's good. That's good. Yes, yeah, yeah. I knew you was gonna miss that shot right there. Can I can I rewind and play it for you? Watch this. Watch this. It says a continual experience in Christ that results continually in thanksgiving. Yes, sir. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Come on, with it. Because <clears throat> I talk to God right. and God talks to me. Right. My praise is continually. Right. Huh? Yeah. It's continuous. It's never ending. I don't take praise breaks. The part 
we're just getting started. Come on, help me, huh? And somebody on the back row tell me, I ain't no party like a Holy Ghost. Because a Holy Ghost party, here it is. Don't stop. Don't stop. Yeah. So, oh, we're going to go there, right? Just a minute. And so, some of you are wondering what's going on in the New Providence Baptist Church. What's happening in here? Because when you pulled up on the parking lot, uh, you can hear songs being sung. You can hear, you will, uh huh, folk having their hands. You could hear, if you will, folks saying amen. You can hear, Folks shouting unto God with a voice of triumph. So Paul is saying my thanksgiving and my praise and my worship is ongoing. It never stops because the last time I checked, I was still breathing. Last time I checked, I was still eating without getting choked. The last time I checked, I was still closed in my right mind. Uh-huh. The last time I checked, I was still, if you will, clothed with life, health, and strength. The last time all of my kids came home and was safe and sound. Can I get a witness in here? Can you say amen? Paul says all of that is enough for me to give God a Holy Ghost praise. Can I get a witness in here? Can you say amen? I wish I came into the sanctuary this morning and I was in the midst of some folk who came just like I did to open up their mouth to give God some praise. Y'all don't hear me. And is there anybody in this building outside of myself you just want to say thank you Lord for all you've done for me. Can I get a witness in here? Can you say amen? Is there anybody in this building that can testify? You don't need a spiritual cheerleader to lift up your hands. Y'all don't hear me. You, you don't need nobody to pump you, to push you, to pull you, to give God praise. Because every time I looked at my life, I looked at my head, and my hands looked deep, looked at my feet, and they did too. I went to the next room and my children was sleeping safe and sound. Y'all don't hear me. And is there anybody in the building you can testify? Let's ride Clyde. That thinkology equates to thinkology. Every time I think about Jesus, I can't help but Thank him for everything he's done for me. I thank him for every pain. I thank him 